apparently the bat's body fits perfectly around an erect penis. But still, he definitely shouldn't have eaten it after. Oopsie. Welcome to episode number seven of the Marty and Michael podcast. It's fully actual. We're coming at you straight out of the heart of the pandemic. What's it called? Wuhan. We are fucked here. You can't go outside. Everyone's dying. It's getting crazy. This You'll be hearing this a week from when we're recording it. So it's probably going to be even more fucked. <laughs> even more <laughs> fucked after this. And people are saying, oh, you know, influencers aren't affected by this. People, you, you guys make more money from because people will be sitting inside watching your videos. No. No, they won't because no businesses, we only make money when there's ads in videos and guess who pays for the ads? Businesses. And guess who doesn't have any business? Businesses. Even Facebook have sent their staff home. Yeah. So it's like there's no support for Facebook and stuff. If you post a video, it doesn't get monetized. YouTube's being all fucking weird. So um, yeah, it's going to be funny. But the good news is that we've got bloody lots of time to film lots of stupid shit. And just fucking try and have a good time during this time, hey? F- we did a makeup <laughs> tutorial today. Yeah, we did a cheeky little make. That's for the website only, which of course reminds me that this podcast is sponsored by the University of Markle. Dot com. Just go and uh, register there if you want to see over six hours worth of unseen content. So, Michael's just gone and wiped dog shit all over his face today. That will be on the website all in good time so. we did a cribs mtv crib episode yeah we did a like a tour of my house tour of michael's house that'll be one episode that's like what 15 20 minutes of footage right some there. shit like that yeah so, so um yeah it's all going times it's, are tough but five bucks is five bucks um now Free. we've we've um matthew <coughs> why are you laughing you got a mic you can talk <laughs> We'll How wait. are you going? We'll How, wait. How's we'll the wait times are wholesome? Connor, you have to cut. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, in the middle of this coronavirus shit, there's nothing to do. Everything's fucking closed. Everyone's just sitting around at home. But um, you know what? We've uh, got our last P.O. box. Mail's about to shut down. So, um, really? I, I dare say that uh, the P.O. box will slow down a little bit, but um, if you can, send some shit. There's a P.O. box. P.O. box 256, take them. 4018, Queensland, Australia. <clears throat> um, and, uh, yeah, so short P.O. box. So, the science experiment segment is back this week. Yeah, dude. I've got a good one for you guys today. Is that what we're doing now? No, no not, not now. Not yeah. now. Well, there's not much to shit talk about. Everyone's, yeah. People are dying. People are getting very sick. Everyone's staying indoors. It's all very exciting. We're pretty prepared. I bought canned fruit, some pasta and beer. Yeah, we, we didn't do much of a, a panic buy, but we just went out and bought just some essentials. Still don't have and any toilet paper. we bought weapons. Yeah, we got, oh, that's true. We got we went a shovel. To, went to, a shovel over there. Went to Bunnings and I bought two axes, one for close fights and a longer one for when I'm chasing someone or for when I plan to start looting. Well, I bought, this is like a, it's sort of like a weapon because you can cut them with that part, but it's shield too and a small axe. Yeah. So it's like a, a shield and a weapon. So we like got weapons, weapons and we got tents so we can draw worst case scenario if shit gets crazy and we don't can't defend our homes anymore we're just going to get in the car and drive to the desert and um where we'll slowly die. That's our plan. All right, that brings us uh, what's uh, first segment Thomas cra- let's crash it let's crash it to time. Cas- it time? N- Matt's renamed this segment to <laughs> Desperate times. Here we go. I've lost my job. And of course, this is a segment where we just <laughs> answer questions oh, that you guys have sent in relevant. via Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Munt. Swanee. Speaking of Nigel Munt, we got a question about him soon. Swanee Boy zero one question for the podcast: Where do you see each other in five years? I see you on a mountain. In ICU, does that make sense? What's ICU again? Intensive care unit. <laughs> Very evil. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. No, that's more probably me. I reckon. I well, where do we see each other ourselves? I reckon we will be. 
bigger we will be not just the best we'll be pretty fucking massive we'll be a household name internationally incredibly well in five years time yeah yeah we will be insanely rich and um yeah be very renowned for uh, making uh silly silly videos and just doing silly silly things that's all it will be big old house on a mountain Michael will have um, a small tent on a large piece of land and he'll be just be growing corn crops. I do love my corn. And he'll just turn into like a corn expert. He'll sort of mix breeds of corn together and he'll start his own separate YouTube channel and use our main account to promote that corn. <laughs> and then he'll become like a corn farmer, like just a small hobby that sort of turns into a big sort of job. And then he'll start making videos after... I think two or three years of harvesting corn. Well, there you go. Yeah, I reckon. No, I, I, man. Where do imagine the world in five years? Alzheimer's. It's going to be in. Oh, oh. I might have Alzheimer's by then too. I reckon I've got early on Alzheimer's. So from you can't even say onset. Onset. What did I say? <laughs> onset. No, you said aklupen. Aklupen. Mm. Early onset Alzheimer's. I can see coming, but it must be a good ride. At least you go a bit nuts before you die. Most of my grandparents have it. God bless them. I love them. Would you like to hear the 10 early signs of Alzheimer's? Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, let's go and put your fingers out every time you tick one off. Okay. All right. Okay. Memory loss that disrupts your life. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was already put up all 10 fingers. Yeah, 100%. Memory loss. My girlfriend yep. hates that I can't remember shit. That's one finger each. Go on. Challenges in planning or solving problems. We're good when we're together about it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Next. Difficult difficulty in completing familiar tasks. No. Nah. Not yet. I can still shit. <laughs> Confusion with time or place. Yeah. When I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two fingers up. I've got one. Uh, um, <laughs> trouble understanding visual images and oh I don't know so spatial relationships yeah you were speaking to a tree the other day thinking that it was no George. that's a lie I, I have been in moments but that's from alcohol well, usually when you're slash- munted you, you're munted yeah, yeah. you see things to <laughs> pop another finger up yeah, um, okay. new problems with words and speaking or writing Michael 100% yeah but also me I think a little bit because it's harder to talk now after excessive drug MDMA yeah. use don't do too many caps in one sesh because you uh, fuck your head uh, number seven is misplacing things and losing the ability to retrace steps yep yeah that's yeah. happened a few cool. times Michael's got five fingers up I've got three or an increase in poor judgment an increase in poor that judgment that happens all the time with me look at the weekend that just passed that we want to talk about <laughs> yeah increase in poor judgment I, made a- I think you've had Alzheimer's since you were fucking born then cunt <laughs> Um, number nine is a withdrawal from work or social activities <laughs> both of you withdrew from work to do other things yeah do traveling and other th- things are fun and the last one is uh, changes in your mood and personality yeah but they change back yeah I don't yeah alright so Michael's got holding eight fingers up I've got four fingers up so I'm double cool there's also a big thing at the bottom that says get checked early detection matters Oh, fuck that. You're going to have to go get an Al- Alzheimer's test. Imagine if I had Alzheimer's. We could do it turn into a website MS, video. Alzheimer's, a bit of depression. And that uh, <laughs> brain cancer you've got in your left uh, femur. Frontal lobe. <laughs> left frontal lobe. <laughs> All, right. All right. Two more questions and then we're going to move on. <laughs> What happened to Michael's face? Well, right now, that's, that, that makes sense. Amir Salkik 12. Well, Michael has been fucking around with vacuum cleaners. He's been using them to clean his hair, to suck himself off, and now to he had itchy eyes because he had a bit of hay fever. So he put them on his eyeballs and was sucking them, and it makes it gives like a, a hickey on his eyelids. So it started the other night when I was drunk, and I figured out that you could vacuum your eyes and you'd get like hickeys on your eyes. And it looked like you'd been punched. So then we thought, let's, for our, for our website, make a, a video called The Vacuum Raccoon. 
So we were trying to help promote vac- like not vac- raccoons because raccoons are endangered maybe soon. So we thought, fuck, we better prepare corona. if if raccoons do become extinct. So we can change humans to raccoons, which we did to me. Didn't work out as good this time because now I've only got one bone eye, not two. Anyway, that's why I look fucked. Does my beard look weird? Yeah, you look more Amish. Anyway, next question's from Lef. Have you ever done and hard any hardcore drugs with Nigel Mund? He's sober. Mark Nigel is sober. We've tried. We've, we've tried pressured to pu- him. We've tried to push him off the bandwagon because <laughs> fuck, he's got some good stories. We want to get him back to day dog. Oh, we just want to make a bit of meth with I him. Want to go, oh, oh, oh. Fuck all night on meth. You can fuck all night on meth. <laughs> 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 Soup. Yeah, we tried. He doesn't. Yeah, he's so clean now. It's hard. Like it's hard for us, but he's still yeah, good it's fun, hard though. for us. He's still good fun. You just give him a bit of body. Oh. Give him a coffee. Come, we can't fucking run around circles. <laughs> D underscore Namel has asked, dear podcast workers, what is hard work getting to? The Was point? it hard work getting to the point we were at? I can't read. Alzheimer's. Was it hard? <laughs> still can't read. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> was it hard work getting to the point you're at or is it something else? With the podcast, well, well let me tell you this. What's his name? D, D underscore D Namel. Namel. We've done 47 episodes. This is our 47th episode and we haven't received a cent. Any no, he's this- talking about getting hard to the point we are in general. Hell yes. To a lot of sacrifice, a lot of parents, oh, do you mean oh, with with on all platforms? Yeah, of course, dude. It's four years of shit. Everyone thinks you're fucking crazy, which you are. Yeah, but you're trying to get away with being crazy to make it cool, which no one really respects until you get enough numbers behind your name, and then all of a sudden, like, apparently oh. somehow you're cool. And yeah, everyone, all the friends that stop talking to you, all of a sudden, fucking oh, oh, well, hey mate, I haven't seen you for. I've seen your videos, so funny, mate. So shut up. Shut the fuck up. It's the same people who are bloody like, oh, have you seen what, what they're doing? Oh, God. It's like, so get a fucking real job. Alzheimer's. Oh. MS. Oh, fucking hell. Anyway. Doctors. Doctors being, oh, you've got Alzheimer's. Oh, you've got multiple scrolls to Michael. Like, Can oh. I ask a quick question? Yeah. Um, I do know that that whole journey was quite wild. Do you reckon you'll ever write or talk about it in full one day? Yes, I will be writing a book about my life and then also one about our life and then one about Matt from Wholesome. Of course. And it will be written in concrete. <laughs> <laughs> it's underscore is underscore Matthew underscore FGG. How do you see your high score on the game? Listeners, we have a mobile game called Marty and Michael colon uh, catch me. All right. It's available. Catch on- me if you can, I thought. No, it's just catch me. It's oh. available on iOS Shit, not good. and it Android. Is. All right. Oh, just fine. search it and you'll find it. All right. And uh, give it a review if you like. And basically, we're running a competition where whoever sends us in a screenshot of the highest level will be inserted into the game as a character. And All right. Be- there'll be many more. This will be already be done. Yeah. Yeah. This By the time you're hearing this. The, the competition will already be, already be done, but there will be another one coming, all right? So, it's a game. Download it, play it. It's fucking good shit. If you want to see what level you're up to, it's the beginning of each new run. It says whatever level you're up, and you just take a quick cheeky little screenshot. <laughs> Off your fucking gut. Last right. question. Question for the podcast. Marty, have you ever experienced a cow fucking you? Or would you ever consider being fucked by one? And this is from Jake underscore Burgess dot 14. Okay, Jake. And he's got one after for me. Uh, it's good to see you curious, but no, cats can't fuck me. They don't have uh, dicks. Bull. A bull could fuck me, but no, I've never been fucked by a bull. I'm, um, they're usually running away. You know, it's quite intimidating in the middle of the night, hearing yodeling coming from the darkness. Okay. And- what about if you got one of the cows... Did you like cows over bulls? One of the cows utters and forces it in. Would you let that happen? No, no, I wouldn't ever enter anything from the cow. It's all just about dominating the beast and me inserting myself and forcing my will onto that animal. <laughs> That's what it's all about. 
my will. And that is my you nickname for my dick. <laughs> you mean your willy. <laughs> Accept my will. <laughs> He's also asked Michael, what is the one thing in your life you regret the most and why? I'd say smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Silly. Except, although we did get our most viewed video from me fucking with you. Kids, don't ever start smoking because it's so, so addictive. And fuck me. It's just... <laughs> That's smoking for you. All right. All right. That's the end of the question segment, which leads us to our next segment, which will probably not be that long because there's only one piece of uh, thing that you guys sent into the PR box this week. This segment has been renamed to... Stop! <laughs> You're going to wake the neighbors. <laughs> oh, wait, you I turned... My- I turned it <laughs> At first, I, mean, I didn't even realise he thought I was screaming really loudly. No, I knew I was just adding on to the joke. Anyway, this is a, a segment where we open up no, things. No, 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 be careful. <sighs> okay. That you guys have sent to yeah, us in the PO box. Fine. There's something in this. There's something in Who's this. Who's it from? Is there a clearly? In this letter. No, it's anonymous. Oh. Valley oh. Hems. Oh, no. Thank <laughs> you, dude. Oh, my God. We're having one each. What's five? Yeah, yeah, I'll have one. What's 5M mean? 5 milligrams. What's the ones we normally take? 10. (laughs) Damn it. I guess we'll have two. Yeah, well, this is oxycodone, dude. Oh, you got oxycodone as well? Yeah, here. Oh, my God. Wait, uh, these were open, though. I wonder if he's taken these out and put something else in there. That was open? Yeah. No, it wasn't. You're trying to scare me. No, but look at the shape of it. Oh, no, it says ox on it. Oxy. Yeah. O-X-N and... This is what we want! People, you're sending us drugs? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, here's the letter yeah, that's yeah. in there. Yeah, here's the letter that's in there. Hey, you sick cunts. Hope you are doing well and have got some corona by now. Loving your vids. Keep up the good work. With the good, here's something for Michael to take on the next vid. <laughs> Cheers. So he wants you to pass out. <laughs> I haven't had mine yet. I'm too scared. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> no, I'll have the vowel. I'll have the vowel. I'll save the... I don't want to be fucking... I've got to drive home and be... How much is Oxy? And cook dinner What's and Oxy shit. do? Oxy is the same as... Um, I've the, had heaps of them. Yeah, the painkillers that oh. that guy gives us, except probably a bit stronger. And you shouldn't mix Valium and these together. You can have seizures, but that's only if you have a lot. Oh, that's fine. I've had a few of them. And what? you shouldn't have it with alcohol. Well, I'll stop drinking after hey. this beer. Imagine if we died because some hater sent us some fake drugs. I'm ready to die anyway. <laughs> wow, that is like the best thing that's ever been sent See, to us. That's, to why, that's why we started this podcast. To get free drugs. Thank you very much. What an awesome segment that was. We've had them now. Thank you so much to whoever sent those in. Okay, moving along to our next segment, which has been renamed to... Boo, you bikers! You bikers! Snatch us from the tit! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. And basically, this is just a segment where we do a science experiment. Just in, in our spare time, we do science experiments just to sort of keep our science knowledge ticking over. And this science experiment is called making Coca-Cola bl- bl- white. Well, I don't know like, why you'd really want to do this, but... Well, so you, you, what's, well, don't tell us what happens and then we can tell you why you might want to do this after. That's not going to fizz up too much, is it? Nah, nah. Michael's a scientist. Nah. Nah, it's just a Maybe just hold it a little further away from the... um. Stop! <laughs> 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 Ooh. I think we lost something then. It's like a little... There's a little cock or something. All right. Imagine you're sick of your Coke being black. That sounds racist, doesn't it? You're sick of your Coke looking like that. Okay? Fuck. I don't even know what the point of this one is. Let's just do it. We'll do it and then we'll figure out the point after. Basically, I'm mixing two thirds Coke, one third bleach. That's going to fill over, isn't it? No. You're going to fill that to the very brim and it's not going to overflow. 
Oh, he's a scientist. Oh, wow. So, I don't know. If you get bored of Coke being a, like a duck... <laughs> I saw. I saw that. I was going to fucking big guy. So, oh, man. Bleach stinks. <laughs> so... That's not bleach. Is that to my asshole? I don't know. If you want to do a prank on your friends and you want to <laughs> yeah, give them a coke, if you want to prank your friends, give them bleach. <laughs> yeah, but no, give them coke and mix it with bleach because it is still coke if it's bleach mixed with it. All it's right, just coke well, with bleach. We'll have a sip. Let's see if it still tastes good. No, oh, it's so clear. <laughs> All yeah. right, so for those of you watching, uh, Michael poured the bleach in on the coke, and the coke has turned a. Uh, yellow urine color and within five minutes this will be completely it'll be water water so if you it's turning coke to water i'm pretty sure but you, water that you can't drink or touch yeah. so it's just it's making coke undrinkable but it looks like water well, you would maybe want to do this experiment if you want it to look like you have a lot of water Get rid of that. around your house that's yeah. maybe why you would want to do it. All right. No, this is the fucking way you do it. You want to poison your spouse. Groundskeeper. Spouse, <laughs> gender, whatever. <sighs> Give them this. Because it's still Coke, technically. It's just got a bit of bleach in it. I hope, that they, hope that they can't smell. Yeah, it doesn't smell like Coke. It doesn't look like Coke either. But it is technically... You saw how much Coke I put in well, it. Well, it's, it's bleach and Coke, Coke now. Yeah. It's bloke. It's bloke. Our next segment water. is called <laughs> Oh my god Oh that's my favourite one yet And this is a segment where we basically just do a prank call Could you hear that? Yeah the first one was perfect <laughs> All right, we literally just uh, tried 15 different numbers, so unfortunately, oh, we're calling great. Domino's. Thanks for calling Domino's in there. How can I help you? Uh, pick up, uh, thank you. But um, I just have to let you guys know that um, I am currently in quarantine and that I have been exposed to someone with coronavirus. I haven't tested positive or anything yet, but um, I have been exposed and I have been told to ice to self-isolate for 14 days. And that was about four, four days ago. I just have to tell you guys that. But yes, I'm going to come in and uh, collect the pizzas. And uh, so just letting, just letting you guys know to definitely maintain that, that social distancing thing that they're saying about on the, t on the, on the television. Well, I'll see you. Yeah, sure. The, uh, actually, I didn't get you. Can you can you explain clearly? Would you like to place a pickup order, or for the at what time would uh, would you like to uh, pick up the order? I'll do I'll do pickup. Yeah, I'll, I'll come into the store. My, my coffee my coffee is much better today, and um, I'm I'm pretty good at catching most of them. So I'll I'll just come in into the store. I'll be in and out in a jiffy. But um, just just let the staff know and maybe the other patrons in there that someone with potentially with coronavirus will be coming into the store. Maybe, maybe let the staff know that that's going to happen because um, I don't have any of those masks or anything left, and um, yeah, look, I just don't, I just don't obviously want to put anyone in any danger or anything. Do you know what I mean? I'm fucking over I'm, it. I'm a bit, uh, I'm fed going up. a bit stir crazy at home. <laughs> I'm a bit fed up. I'm a bit fed up. Sure, sir. Just give me a moment, Jesse. I'm on the phone, minute. He's going to ask his supervisor, and the supervisor going to say no. Thank you for calling. Yeah, hello. I uh, just called you guys just before and um, you guys put me on hold for about five minutes and then hung up on me. I was just wondering what was that all about? Um, sorry, no one hanged up on you, but it um, looks like the line might be cut off. Do you know who you're speaking to? Um, I, f I forget his name, if I'm being honest. It was... Uh, I, I just... Right. Um, is there something I can help you with? Yeah, yeah. Look, I was just um, in the middle of ordering a um, a pizza, but um, I ex as I explained to the um, other guy, I have mm -hmm. been exposed to someone with coronavirus, and I am actually in self isolation for the next fourteen days. So I, I, I legally I have to tell you guys that. But so I was just maybe thinking, give the rest of the staff a bit of a heads up that I'm coming in, and um, just just make sure everyone's um, following social yeah, I, social distancing rule, you know, all that stuff on the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, we also. Do a delivery. We do like a zero contact delivery, which is like we drop the pieces right in front of See, your you door. Is there a car? Is there a car? You want to use it? Yeah, look, I've got my um, two meters, I've, and I can um, you can take your order. Um, I've got my mother-in-law here, and she's actually um. She's actually a massive bitch, and I don't want her to see that I'm ordering a pizza, so I'm going to have to just come in. But don't worry, I'll put my hand over my mouth and stuff. I don't have any of those masks left. But uh, no, can you do me a favor? When you, even when you're in, in, when people way, are in you're some isolation, in. we need to worry about our staff as well. You're coming I understand. Um, yeah, that's why I thought maybe... That's maybe yeah, why I thought... But um, when you come into let a know. Um, store, you, you can stand outside the store, and uh, we can find a safe place so we can leave the pizzas, and you can take it from there. Okay, great. Yeah, so I'll be um I'll come in and I'll just bang on the um on the glass at the back or at the front of the store, and um yeah, and print then, off the store, so print yeah. off the store and wave your hand so we can come out. But uh, do you mind doing me a favor, just do an online um, order so we can um drop those pieces out to you? Because if it is cash payment again, you need to come into the store. And, uh, we yeah, well, it's just I have a lot of. I was just gonna. I was just. Well. I was just gonna use the rest of my coins in my in my uh, wallet to, to pay for the pizza. That's all. Would you be okay if I uh, just left the coins at the front of the store as well? There, you'll see me. I'll be the one banging on the glass, and I'm wearing shorts and a singlet, a pink singlet, and two boots. So I'll um so I'll come and bang on the window and I'll leave the coins I'll leave the coins um, at the front door and then I'll yeah, just accept because, um, them. Even as as an employee, we have to worry about our own safety as I'll well. Totally you're understand. On I, would, I would hate to make anyone say sick. this, but if you can do it online, that would be really helpful. Because if we have to touch the money, that's a bit of um, it'll, it'll be cash. Because we don't want to go. It'll be It'll be the money will, is real money though. It's not. Um, it's yeah, not fake. I know. But when we have to touch money. those coins when you're putting this back, and uh, yeah, you got to understand. Like we all survive on our daily wages as well. If we of get, course, um, of course. You know, affected, um, so, so you're a just murderer. just to you're be a clear, you're a yeah. just to be clear here. So you, so you, you're, you're asking me to order online because you're you don't want me to come into the store, and you don't believe my money is real, and you want me to order online. I don't even have a laptop, my fine friend. I don't even have a laptop. So, so how do you expect me to order online? Look, I'm just down the road. I'll just pop in very quickly. I've just got my money now. If you once you see me just banging on the window, just come out and take my order. Okay, we'll just go from there if that's all right because I don't even have a laptop and to be honest yeah, you're, being know, quite, to be honest, you're being quite you're being quite you're being quite rude you, you, you look you're no, being I'm quite rude right you're, right right you're being quite rude and you are actually contributing to starving I'm gonna that's cough. what you're doing I'm right now you're contributing to starving I'm gonna cough. it's already so crazy out there today it's already so crazy out there today and you're you're contributing to starving and I'm so hungry and all I want to do is come into Domino's and get myself a little pizza and you guys are there denying me access denying me Access. I'm coming in there. I'm coughing everywhere. Out of I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I'm coming into the store. Are we gonna get hate for that? Oh fuck you! It's just a joke. Uh, guys, by the way, we um we called them back and told them it was a joke. Oh yeah, and we've totally sorted out. Everyone's all happy. They're in. There's no panic happening, Matt. You were there. We didn't make that up at all. Everyone's fine. We just called them back and said, hey, mate, sorry, that was just a joke. Guys, that is the end of episode number seven. If you want, again, if you want us to do prank calls, DM them to our Instagram, name of the person you want called, where they live, and just a bit of a scenario that they're in. Don't just say, oh, they like- Full name, address. We won't put the address in. We won't put the full name in. We won't say anything. details. We won't say anything of the details, but I just need them for the prank call. So, and don't just say, oh, he likes football. Just be like, oh, yeah, he's recently been, you know- whatever just just an actual scenario that they're in i can't think of an example okay but just fucking yeah because these those prank calls you sent in not one person answered not one out of 15 so we had to call dominoes and that guy's all panicked now yeah yeah we created it's their fault yeah i didn't want to say it but yeah matt and that's why when Best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best.